Hi, I'm Brooks Compton, Mayor of the City of Centerville, and thank you for joining us today at Centerville Business Today. And we are located at the best pretzel factory here, Philly Pretzel Factory here in Centerville and Centerville Place. And I'm joined today by Julie Huran, Huran who is the owner-operator of Philly Pretzel Factory. And I've been here a number of times. The place is fantastic. Thank you. And the selection that you have is great. Thank you. So Julie, on Centerville Business Today, what we do is tell a little bit about your place how you got started in the business, and if you can uh, tell us a little bit about it, that'd be great. Okay. So my husband, Ed, who's also the owner, um, he is from Philadelphia. And so we met here in Dayton, and then we moved back to the East Coast, and then we came back and we decided to start a family. And the one thing he said he always missed was Philly pretzels. So I dragged him to Dayton, and we dragged Philly pretzel here to Dayton. He did. And so it started out that he would go back to Philadelphia to visit his, his father. And every time he'd go, he'd bring back some pretzels. And it started out, he would bring back six or eight, 10. And then by the end of all his trips, like he was going quite often because his father wasn't well. And he came back with four and 500 at a time. And so I would literally have people in my house at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night waiting to get pretzels. So we're like, we're decided to go into business for ourselves. And he said, we got to do pretzels. You've seen our house and how busy it is. We've got to do pretzels. So that's how we brought Philly Pretzel here. So how'd you get associated with Philly Pretzel Factory? Um, back, what really was in Philadelphia or just north of Philadelphia, am right, I correct? Right, right. It's still, yes, the headquarters are in Philadelphia. And it was two guys who started it back in 1998. And it's just grown now to over, they have, to have over, I believe, 150 stores now and they're moving west. We're the only one in Ohio right now, and we're hoping to expand that, but we, we're we doing okay here. Well, I was out here for the, the grand opening, which was November, I think, of 2016. 2016, so we've been open, what, about 16 months now. And I've had a chance probably to have probably many of your pretzels, but they really are fantastic. Thank and you. And I know you do a Thank lot you. for the community, but if you could tell us a little bit about a number of the different selections that you have would okay. be great. So you know, we we'll just want to walk over and I can yeah. show you. So Julie, I know you have a number of different products. If you tell us a little bit about what Philly Pretzel Factory offers to the different customers that you have. Sure. So when you arrive, this is our display case. So if you just want a snack or just pick up something light, we have our rivets back here, which are just our little two inch nuggets. And they're great. They come in a variety of, of sizes and they're just a great snack. They're great for the kids to pick up after school. We also have our real pretzels and we have, they call them real. I'm not sure why, but that's the corporate name, our real pretzels, those are our standard pretzels. We also have our minis, which are more doughier, and they have, is that a word? And then they have like five of them in a row. We also have something sweet, so we have our cinnamon twists. And then if you want something a little more hearty, some, something for lunch or something for dinner, we have our pretzel dogs, and it is a all beef wiener. We wrap in white American cheese, wrap in pretzel dough. We also have a cheese steak, and it's a ribeye meat with a three cheese blend wrapped in pretzel dough. We also have our, our pizzas. We have a, a pepperoni pizza melt and our cheese pizza melt. And we take our pretzel dough, we sprinkle on this garlic, Parmesan, herb stuff, and then we cover it with cheese, pepperoni, and sprinkle it again with the delicious Parmesan garlic. Well, I'll tell you, it's good. I've had the pretzel dogs. They're very good. And they're very good, several times here for lunch. And I know you have a number of different toppings yeah, if, dips. That, that go with the, uh, right. with have, the pretzels we themselves. We have a wide assortment of dips. So we have two kinds of cheese. We have a spicy cheese and a mild cheese. We also have marinara some people like to put, do the marinara we have it for the pizzas but a lot of people order it for the pretzels we also have four different kinds of mustards that range from a super hot to just a yellow mustard we also have four kinds of icings so buttercream uh, cinnamon chocolate and then we blend the cinnamon and the buttercream together we call it cinnacream now we also have of course philly cream cheese okay and i know you also provide other than having your location here you you go out and provide pretzels to a number of locations around the area, do you know? Right. We, we do quite a bit of concessions with um, a lot of the schools. We do a lot with Centerville High School, actually, for their different teams, their different events, track, basketball, football. Um, we also do a lot of the other sports teams in the area. And then we also try to help out with churches and scouting. I know, I know that you also are very society conscious and you donate a lot of the pretzels right. to the, uh, right. some of the food banks around right. here right. And, and I know you indicated that during the course of the year you've worked with a number of different food banks and opp opportunities. Right. Have you not? right, well 
we, we believe in giving back to the community as much as we can. And so what we, we have a freshness factor and if we don't sell the product, we take it and we put it in the freezer and then at the end of the night we actually have a couple of volunteers that come and get it and take it to the various food pantries around the area. I well, we really appreciate that. I know that the number of the food pantries around here really appreciate it. And uh, I know that we've occasionally brought those to our council meetings, <laughs> the, the pretzels, and we've all enjoyed them. So now that we've talked a little bit about it, what, I want to go back and we'll go to the, the fresh dough location and okay. we'll start with the we'll preparation we of them. a pretzel. All right. Back here at the fresh dough station with Julie, and we're just getting ready to make some new pretzels. And the dough process is being put together and it takes about, what, seven to 10 minutes to do this? Actually, it's less than that. And less we make our dough fresh every, every morning and there's no preservatives in it. So we start out with some hot water. We put in a 50 pound bag of flour. It also gets some yeast and some dough conditioner, which helps bind the dough. And then we go ahead and close the lid. Six minutes later, we get about 80 pounds of dough. So you had to put in a special temperature water? Yes, so we have a water meter over here that, okay. that automatically we can adjust the temperature. We have hot and cold down here. The water pipes in right here, comes in, so we don't have to plug any water and it's the right temperature and it's ready to go. Okay, well, I think you want to get started. Okay. It so then we just close quickly. the lid, hit on, and it gets really loud and it'll start, sound like a barking seal at the end because the dough is like turning and turning and it, you'll hear it kind of bark at you. Okay. And then we know it's done. So that takes just a few minutes, about six minutes. Six minutes and it times it for you. And while that's doing that, we usually go ahead and get our next station ready, which is our stringer. Okay, well, Julie, let's come on over okay. here. Okay, so this is, it's a very technical term name, stringer, because what happens is we put the raw dough in here. It goes through an auger. I don't know if you can see the auger in there. It turns it, just like have you ever, like used an auger in your yard, how it turns it, up. well, we're gonna turn dough instead of turning dirt. So once it goes there, it comes out here, and we have a slicer. And it slices the dough and the weight that we put in, which all of our pretzels are almost five ounces. So it go ahead and it slices the dough into a ball. And from here, I have two conveyor belts that push the dough through, and it turns it into a string. So we'll show you this. We're gonna, we're gonna okay, actually good. use this. And it comes out here, and then oh, here's where we twist. This is our twisting station. Well, this is where your professional twisters this twist is our, right here. Our professional twisters. And we some some of your handiwork out front here. Yes. And well, I know that'll be part of the show today, but uh, they're definitely very skilled at uh, managing. They're them. very they're very good at what they do. So we're going to get a chance to see them in action. And we're going to actually let yeah, you try it. Too. Okay, great. So what we'll see is this will take about six minutes, and then we'll come right back to the stringer. Okay. And get ready for the donuts. Okay. Okay. The dough's made. Right. And now we're heading over to the stringer, and this is the, the stringer in the twisting area. Right. And you, your employee, Amy. This is Amy. So what we do is we take the dough, it goes into the hopper. So there's about 80 pounds of dough there. And so we cut off little chunks, and it goes right in. And it, it takes a minute or two, not even a minute or two, it takes a, a short amount of time to start coming out. So once the, the dough can be around for about half an hour. And right, we, we have to twist within a half an hour. Half an hour, okay. Um, it is a bread product, yeast, so it has to be done right away. Okay. Otherwise it'll form and rise like that. <laughs> okay, okay. So then when it comes over here to the stringer, it's get there's an auger in there. There's an auger that, that twists it through. It? Okay. Right, so right in here is the auger part, and that's what's pushing the dough through. And then you'll see it here shortly, it'll come out, there it's starting to come out. If you can see, right now it's just little tiny pieces. Okay. But pretty soon you'll see a ball come out. And each, each ball will be about what, five ounces? It's between four and a half, five four, ounces. Okay. And then all, all of the pretzels then are approximately that weight, is that? Well, our, our main pretzels, we call our real pretzels, are that weight. Okay. Now the other ones, like our minis, we split it down into, we break those in half, so each one's about 2.5 ounces on the, the minis. And then our rivets, we'll show you here shortly, we take the rivets, we take the strings and we cut them. So it's a full pretzel, but we cut it up. Okay. So it's starting to form yeah. now. So here you can see. And Julie, out of that 80 pounds, how many pretzels will you be able to make out of that? So out of, out of one batch, we get what we call 13 boards, and we put 20 pretzels on each board. So about 260 pretzels comes out of one batch. Okay. 
but we just don't, we, we usually don't do all pretzels. So here over here, we're gonna show you how Jody I mean, and Amy uh, go ahead and they twist. So this comes out as a string and this then they, a do string. The they do the twist. So what we do is we take the dough, and I'm really bad at this, it gets twist, we put it up here, and I'm gonna have them do it, they're much faster. So that would be what you call your... That's that, the those real, are our real pretzels. Real pretzels, okay. Would you like to try this? I'll be happy to try one. <laughs> All right, so you just grab a string. Okay. And Jody's going to show you. You need to put it in the air and let it cross itself and then connect it at the bottom and pull it apart. Okay. Okay, that'll be... Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Okay. Let it drop. Just twist it. And twist it. Okay. <laughs> Hang down on the board. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. We actually timed my husband doing a board. He can do a board in about 45 seconds. Let it cross like that. One more cross. One more cross. Oh, like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Feel pretty good about that. Now you've twisted a pretzel. <laughs> now, do you, should we move on to the baking next? Why don't we go on to the baking? And Amy, Jody, thank you very much for showing us your professionals at this uh, twisting of the pretzels. <laughs> Julie, we're back here at the baking station. Take us through what takes place next. Okay, since you just twisted your first pretzels, here's what they come out with on a board. So we put 20 on a board. So after they're done, we put them into our walk-in, a refrigerator, a cooler. And then we go, when we need an order, we go grab a board, bring it out here. This is our prep station, our prep table. And from there, this is our baker's lye. This is what makes it brown and crispy and absolutely delicious and keeps it soft inside. So what we do is we grab a row of pretzels, we usually do 10 at a time. You drop them in to the baker's lye and you can see I'm wearing protective gloves and glasses, safety first. From here, they go on to our salting board we put them on a board. I'm gonna just do 10 right now. We usually do 20 on the board. They get salted, of course. So we do the salt. From there, we put them into our oven. And our oven is 525 degrees. And we have four shelves in here, so we can bake. We can get about 80 on a shelf at a time, 80 pretzels, so I can do 320 pretzels in about six to eight minutes. So from here, they, just get, they slide right on, on, directly onto the baking stones. We start it, let it go through, and it'll just keep cycling. And that in about six minutes, we'll have some warm, delicious pretzels. Great, well that's outstanding. And during the course of the day, I know you said you go through about 320 pounds of dough. On an average day. Average day. When we do a lot of, we do a lot of parties, a lot of catering, and on those days, we do, we can do up to eight, 10, one day we did 15 mixes. Okay. It's been about six minutes. So I'm gonna show you the finished product coming out here, so we just take this handy little tool. Comes out just like a pizza. We bring them over here, and this is our finished product station. So no raw food comes over here, it's just baked. So. Well, they look fantastic, and they've been in there for about six minutes. And tell us a fact about pretzels that people don't know. You don't know is that we there's no fat, no preservatives, and each pretzel has about 14 grams of protein. Okay. Well, Julie, this has been a great show. I appreciate your being here. Thank you so much and for coming. Thank you for locating in Centerville and appreciate you being on Centerville Business today. And Julie, if they want to get a hold of you, other than just here in Centerville Place Shopping Center, how would they contact you? They, we do have a presence online, so you can go to fillerpretzelfactory.com and hit locations and find Centerville. They can also call us at 937-952-6468. Thanks for joining us on Centerville Business today at the best pretzel factory here in Centerville. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you later.